Monday Night Raw Universe Mode. It's here. <gasps> Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw live in Washington D.C. here in the nation's capital of the United States and over 18,000 fans here in this arena in the Verizon Center as tonight's main event will be the game Triple H goes one on one with The Undertaker. Triple H the number one contender for the WWE title against Sting at the Battleground pay-per-view goes one-on-one -on -one with Sting's former rival in The Undertaker later on tonight and the first match of the night is coming up right now Brie Bella former women's champion goes one-on-one -on -one with Paige can Brie Bella gain some momentum heading into Battleground or will Paige get the victory let's start let's find out right now and here we go in the Verizon Center, Washington, D.C. Looks like Brie Moe is going to come to effect. The following Diva contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins from Scottsdale, Arizona. Brie Bella winning the women's title at WrestleMania by defeating her own sister. She defeated her own sister at WrestleMania in the unification match, but then after that that match didn't really matter if you look at it now because a lot of divas came through and a lot of contracts were signed and that's the reason why we have brand split a big a big full brand split here in the WWE as Paige making her way to the ring I mean Paige got signed even Marie the women's champion got signed okay uh, a lot of divas who was here before and Nikki Bella Brie Bella herself Emma a lot of people resign okay they resign their contracts to stay in universe world. a lot of people like AJ and uh, yeah a lot of people like AJ Lee left the, the company so so we were able to sign some new divas new women so anyways, Brie versus Paige. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, live on Monday Night Raw. As Brie and Paige go at one-on-one, -on -one, Kyle will tie up. As Brie. And it looks like they have Paige in the corner. As Brie with a big form to the face of Paige. As Brie tried to start off a little rough here. Big elbow. Then a shot to the face by, by Brie. And now Brie snapped mirror. Taking down Paige. And now into a drop kick. A running drop kick. Capitalizing off the snapmare, hooks the leg, cover, and a kick out at one. I mean, if you look at it now, this the uh, the whole women slash divas division. It was uh, there was two champions, then there was one, and now there's two again. I mean, will there be a time where uh, there will be one champion? Wait, wait, wait a minute! As we will go for the suplex. Paige counted into a small package. Wait, no, Bree able to counter, get out of it. Got it on a kick out of two. Bree was able to counter the counter as Bree with a big kick to the head by onto Paige. Cover hooks the leg. No, no, not even a one count. Bree was going for a suplex, and then Paige was able to turn into a small package, a high knee to the back of of, of Paige as Bree. Saying Brie Mode, yelling out Brie Mode to her fans here in the arena in the Verizon Center. Yeah, I know my arenas in the, in the United States. That's Paige. Nice slingshot. Oh, what to a Falcon Arrow. Slingshot off the ropes onto into a Falcon Arrow and a big kick to the side of the head or the back of the head of Brie. I mean, this whole women's slash divas division was. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, Paige! The Page Turner! The Page Turner! Paige with the page turner. Cover. Hooks the leg. Does she have her? Got her knowing a kick at it too. What a way to, what a way to start Monday Night Raw with, with some women's action. Yeah, actually from now on, Monday Night Raw, it's women. Smackdown, it's divas. As now, now Paige has, uh, has Brie here. 
Tossed onto the outside. Referee should be beginning to count by now. As uh, Paige looking at sizing up Bree. Wait, Paige. Paige off the ropes, running. And Paige still a side dive onto the outside. Look at this. Wham! Onto the outside. Look at it again from a different angle. Paige suicide diving onto the outside. Paige being all suicidal in this situation. No pun intended. And now Paige with a nasty backbreaker as the referee counting. Now Paige is back inside the ring. Now Paige. Referee had a count of three by now. And Paige on the top rope. A big elbow from the top rope. Are you kidding me right now? Paige is going out of a breeze, able to come back with a nice clothesline. Taking down Paige. The fact that Paige went in the ring after the suicide dive, got up, and did a big elbow drop into the midsection of Brie is it's crazy that someone would do something like that. As Brie is trying to size up Paige here, Brie has something in has something in mind. Uh oh, go for a splash and look very landed very awkwardly. You know, I mean, it, it looked that looked very awkward. She didn't really get that much. She didn't really get all of it. As uh, Brie getting back into this match. Big shot to the face there. Former Women's Champion will be facing. Uh, Emma, uh, sorry, Eva Marie for the women's title. As uh, Brie in the cover. Two count and a kick out. As this matchup continues here live on Raw. Brie and Paige. To start off the show, Brie go for a drop kick. Page back, side straight. Uh, Brie as Brie nice counter into a German suplex, able to get out of a scoop scoop slam attempt. As a uh, now Brie, now Brie shots to the to the shoulder, to Page and a nice takedown there. And now, oh pay oh Brie. Big kick and a nice missile drop kick from the second rope. Can Brie capitalize? Yelling out Brie mode. And now Brie Bella looking to capitalize. And Brie Bella Buster. The Bella Buster on the page. Hooks the line. Cover. Two count. Shoulders it down and got her. Brie Bella able to defeat Paige here live on Raw. What a win for Brie. As we look back in this matchup, as Bree tried to go for a slam, I mean a splash for no avail. As Bree in the end with the Bella Buster. I don't know why the, the, the replay did not show the suicide dive for Paige, but that's besides the point. Bree Bella able to defeat Paige to start off the, to start off the show here live on Raw. Bree Bella successful here on Raw, but will she be successful at Battleground? In less than 13 days, we'll find that out. But, but congratulations to Bree as we move on, ladies and gentlemen. The second matchup of the night. I forgot to announce this earlier. Kofi Kingston will face Cesaro in a ladder match, and this is where it gets this is where it gets uh, good here. If Cesaro wins this match, Cesaro gets the contract hanging above the ring, which the match is going to start right now. If Cesaro gets the contract, then Cesaro is added to this championship match this Sun. I mean, next Sunday at Battleground. As Kofi Kingston making his way to the ring, former Intercontinental Champion in Kingston, New Day member Kofi Kingston. Revoked his rematch clause after losing the title at Payback last month. And now, Kofi Kingston looking forward to get back the championship that he actually never lost. Well, in a way, uh, never he never got pinned, you know. I mean, he lost the championship, but he never got pinned. He never tapped out. He was dealing with Finn Balor at the time. As uh, uh, Kevin Owens was dealing with uh, Barrett. So Kingston has every right to get his championship rematch at the next pay-per-view wow. 
But this man, Cesaro, has a legitimate reason to either do this, be involved in this, or get a championship match of his own. I mean, he defeated the Intercontinental Champion last week on Raw. He defeated former WWE and World Heavyweight Champion Batista two weeks ago on Raw. So Cesaro's on a roll right now. I mean, he defeated Kevin Owens, Intercontinental Champion. So, I mean, normally if you defeat a champion, you might get a title shot, you know. So, I figured, I'm pretty sure that the, the commissioner, Paul, will put Cesaro in this situation. The Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Matchup underway. Kofi Kingston, Cesaro goes at it one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, like, Cesaro, like, after he defeated... Uh, Kevin Owens last week, I figured that he would get, he would be involved in the Intercontinental Championship picture. I mean, Cesaro, former two-time WWE Tag Team Champion. I mean, who, no one can doubt that Cesaro can be a, a champion in this universe mode. Not to mention singles champion, as Cesaro with a nice snap suplex. As Cesaro on the outside, looking, getting straight to the point. Oh, a big shot to the midsection there, and ramming Kofi onto the like dropping Kofi with the ladder now Cesaro if Cesaro wins he, he's in the match he's gonna fight for the Intercontinental Championship that's Cesaro that's Cesaro going at it against Kofi sizing up Kofi here no disqualifications no count outs ladies and gentlemen as Cesaro back body dropping Kofi onto the floor and now Cesaro looking to get that chair. Remember, no disqualification. A big shot to the head by Cesaro. Knocking down Kingston. Oh, trying to go for a shot to the midsection there. But Kingston is scratching the back of Cesaro. And now Crucifix. A drop. And we can't. There's no pinfalls in this match. But you can still hurt the opponent with that maneuver there. Depending on how you drop him. And Cesaro with a nice Mishinoku driver. It's just, imagine Cesaro able to defeat Kingston in this match. Cesaro is in control in this match right now. I mean, if he wins this match, he gets to go to Battleground in less than 13 days, or 13 days exact, to fight for the Intercontinental Championship against Kofi and Kevin Owens. And now Cesaro going for a scoop slam. Kingston, oh my god, Kingston reverse DDT onto the chair. Cesaro, neck and spine burst onto the chair. And Cesaro standing up, cracking his neck. Kingston from behind. Climb up the ladder to grab the briefcase. And Cesaro, big shot there. Now Cesaro. And he drops Kingston. Pushing Kingston off the ladder. Cesaro has the briefcase there. Cesaro could win there right here. Cesaro, Cesaro, what? Cesaro got off the ladder. Why did he get off the ladder? Now Cesaro! Big uppercut! People call it the Swiss death. People call that maneuver a sw the Swiss death. As Cesaro lifting up Kingston and dropping him with that uppercut. Now Kingston rolling, stirring, able to get up to his feet. Cesaro taking the uh, television monitors, the all the stuff off the Spanish announce table there. And now Cesaro... Putting Kingston, uh, putting Kingston onto the table. What does Cesaro have in mind here? Wait a minute. He's not going to go for the neutralizer onto the table. Oh, my God. Cesaro. Cesaro. Neutralizer. Neutralizer through the table. Neutralizer through the table. Kingston goes through the table. Cesaro. Dropping Kingston through the table. Can Cesaro. Cesaro takes the ladder. Sets in the middle of the ring. Kingston starting to stir somehow. Cesaro on top. Got the briefcase. And Cesaro has unhooked the briefcase. Cesaro is going to be the in the championship match at Battleground. First of all, let's look at this real quick. Cesaro. No, he had, he had no other choice but to put Kingston away. Cesaro neutralized it through the table. And this is Cesaro able to climb up and grab the briefcase that contains a contract inside where Cesaro can go fight for the Intercontinental Championship. Cesaro will fight Kingston and Owens 
for the Intercontinental title in a triple threat match. I cannot wait for that. Congratulations to Cesaro. As ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Kane goes one on one with titles in the air. We haven't seen Kane and Big Show on Raw since they won the tag titles. Well, tonight they're here, and Kane is going to go one on one live with Tyler Sunil. It's Kane with Big Show in his corner against Tyler Sunil with Darren Young in his corner. Live next on Raw. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As we are back live on Raw. As Kane and Big Show making their way down the aisle to the ring. As Kane and Big Show are the WWE Tag Team Champions. Two-time WWE Tag Team Champions. Actually, no. Three-time Tag Team Champions. After they were given the World Tag Team Titles. And then when they won the WWE Tag Team Titles from RVD and Booker T. Back in uh, February. I believe so. And then they, went, they won the titles back at Payback. So... Tonight, and here comes primetime player, member of the primetime players, Tyler Sonio. I'll never forget earlier this year, Tyler Sonio and Darren Young had a chance to defeat. Kane and Big Show for the tag titles at least twice, but no, was not able to get the job done. So tonight. They might have an opportunity to knock off the champ, the, the knock off Kane. Tyler Sonio have a chance to knock off Kane and then possibly uh, extend that into a tag team match and then knock them off then and then maybe get a tag team title shot. Who knows? But here we go. Kane versus Titus O'Neil live on Raw. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Kane and O'Neil, collar of a tie-up. Kane aside headlock, but oh, O'Neal already charging Kane to the ropes. Off the ropes, Kane goes. Going for a hip toss. No, no, Kane countered. Hip toss of his own. On to Tyus O'Neal. Kane, a big form, a big shot to the chest there. That's Kane. Big shot to the midsection there. Kane in control for the moment, but O'Neal tossing Kane onto the outside. Man. As a big show picking up Kane, picking up his friend there. As oh. O'Neal picking up Kane, the strength of O'Neal, but Kane big shots to the to the dome there, to the head there of O'Neal, and a, oh big elbow to the head of Kane, and now Kane got him up, nice spine buster, double arm spine buster. I mean, it, it looked like Kane grabbed him by the waist and then dropped him, so it, it looked different to me. And a Kane had a big throat thrust to the. To the throat of Titus O'Neil. I mean, Kane, Big Show, went to WrestleMania expecting to win their tag team match against JBL and Swagger, but no, they, they lost. They lost for the first time since they got the tag titles. As both men are back inside the ring, Kane came for a close on and he knocks down O'Neal as O'Neal was distracted by the Big Show. Now, Kane. Trying to get into this match, trying to be in control as Titus O'Neil going for a suplex. It was a lift of Kane, that's impressive, but Kane, a big knee to the head and a big throat thrust again, a big shot to the face of O'Neill. As Kane, a bed to belly throw onto Titus O'Neil, a former football player in his own right. And now Kane, and on the outside on the apron, now Kane on the top. O'Neal receives it. O'Neal's going to try to capitalize, but Kane diving off the top rope into a diamond clothesline. That's Kane now. In control right now. Can Kane put Titus O'Neal away in the early going of this match? Kane got him by the throat. Kane got him by the throat. What goes up must come down on a big choke slam by Kane. Hooks the leg. But wait, the referee, the, the referee distracted. Darren Young distracted the referee. As Kane realizing it. Now Kane gotta try to get on oh, try to get Darren. Darren backed away backed up so so fast. But Kane got Darren. Whipping him into the post. As Kane going on going on a tirade here. Now Kane. The monster Kane is is is, is out now. Kane taking it to O'Neal. 
King got the steel chair. He might get himself disqualified, but O'Neal able to stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take our first commercial break of the night as O'Neal and Kane battled it on the outside. Can this match, this matchup will continue. We'll be back live on Raw. Welcome back live on Monday Night Raw as Titus O'Neal and Kane still going out in the ring. Titus O'Neal had Kane in the chin lock for the moment, but now Kane, big elbows to, to the midsection there. And now Kane, a big throw thrust to the throat of O'Neal. The O'Neal's throat got to be hurting. Probably maybe after this match, it may be hard for him to drink some soup or something. Kane go for it again, but now, oh, a big boot this time. Nice shot there by Kane. But yes, Jack Swagger and JBL has revoked their rematch clause. They will be going. They will be going to Battleground to compete for the WWE Tag Team titles. So it will, it will be the rematch of WrestleMania and Payback. It is the final encounter as O'Neal has Kane back breaker to a following slam. The um, title O'Neal impressive as a referee in the cover. Counts it, hooks the leg to count, kick out. Tyler Sunil can't believe Kane kicked out of that. But, uh, yeah, final encounter. Swagger and JBL against Kane and Big Show. Tyler Sunil trying to get back into this match. Kane, a big jawbreaker there. Kane, oh, now O'Neal with a big jawbreaker there. Now Tyler Sunil going for, uh, oh, power slam. As Big Show watching this very closely. Darren Young looking confident. Looking like Tyler Sunil got it. Got this matchup. And now Kane. Oh, it came with a nice counter there. And now Kane. Oh my god, no Kane. Kane got him in that devastating that devastating legal submission hold. Will O'Neal pass out? Or will O'Neal tap out or pass out? He passed out. He passed out. Kane, victorious. Able to make O'Neal pass out. That is the reason why Kane and Big Show are the WWE Tag Team Champions. It's early in the matchup there. Darren Young was sent into the post. Tyler Sunil, a big knee to the head there. And that was when Tyler Sunil was able to hit him with the uh, the backbreaker. Still hold him in position. And then a follow-away slam while standing up. And then came with a nice counter into that, that claw hold. That submission hold. Able to make O'Neal pass out. Well, that happened to Swagger and JBL at Battleground in two weeks. One after the Tag Team Champions, Kane is successful here tonight. As Big Show will be in action next week on Monday Night Raw. Not tonight, but next week. Congratulations to Kane. As we move on later, later on tonight. Next, coming up next, sorry. Dean Ambrose goes one-on-one -on -one with the returning Mikey Whipwreck. But this time it's a Falls Count Anywhere match and it's coming up right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the WWE Hardcore Championship. Hardcore Championship, Hardcore Rules. Falls Count Anywhere match. Here comes the Lunatic Fringe. Dean Ambrose, former United States and Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose, now might be Hardcore Champion after tonight. And here comes the returning Mikey Whipper. We haven't seen him since he won the championship on Raw weeks ago. I think it was the WWF Monday Night Raw episode edition, the Attitude Air, the Attitude Week, that uh, Mikey Whipwreck won the Hardcore title in a Fatal Four Way match against the returning at the time Cactus Jack and Bray Wyatt, including Dean Ambrose. So now tonight, Dean Ambrose will go one on one with Mikey Whipwreck. This is this might be this might be a good one. Hell, ah, oh, hell with it. This, this could be, this is a good one. Mikey Whipwreck, Dean Ambrose, 
There you guys see it right there. Hardcore championship falls kind of anywhere match. Pin falls anywhere. There we go. That beautiful hardcore championship. Mikey Whipwreck. Dean Ambrose. Here we go. Live on Raw. Color of a type to start off this Falls Anywhere match. I guess they, they both be, both of these men have mutual respect for each other. As uh, Mike Whipwreck got him into a, a, a hold there. But now Ambrose with the chin lock there. A nice side headlock. But oh, now, now, now Mikey with the side headlock. Can he and Dean Ambrose get out of it? As uh, Whipwreck. The main reason why Whipwreck is here because of that hardcore championship. I brought back the hardcore championship. Because I feel like we need we need something to spice up Raw. We need something to spice it up. So I thought the Hardcore Championship might help. As an Ambrose. Oh, a nice takedown with the wrist lock. As an Ambrose, nice DDT dropping Whipwreck. And now I know his finishing maneuver, the Mikey Whipwreck's finishing maneuver name. Uh, it's called the Whipper Snapper. Took me a while to figure that out. And a nice form there by Ambrose after bringing Whipwreck into the corner there. As uh, Dean Ambrose, like I said, former Intercontinental and United States Champion, actually went to SummerSlam and I think he lost the title. Or he, he won, the, you know, he lost the title to Sheamus at SummerSlam last year. By the way, SummerSlam will be way better than last year. Last year I only did three matches. This year's SummerSlam is going to be... Ten times better. I'm telling you that right now. But after. After. Battleground. It's all about the money. Money in the bank. We're in May right now. So in June. As we're trying to get back into this. In June. Money in the bank pay-per-view. Or July. No, it's June. In June. I gotta check the calendar. Anyways, in June. Money in the Bank will be hosted in Hartford, Connecticut. As uh, Ambrose, oh, now Whipwreck with a nice counter, and the Whipwreck with a DDT. We're gonna have qualifying matches for the Money in the Bank uh, match maybe next week. Starting next week, we might have a Money to make ladder match. I mean, Money to make ladder match next week. No. Uh, oh, and Ambrose on the ropes. Ambrose. Oh, bounce off the ropes. Ambrose. Look at that clothesline. Knocking down Whipwreck. We might have qualifying matches for the Money to make ladder match next week on Raw. Hooks the leg. Kick out of two. A whipwreck. Ambrose cannot believe that he kicked out of it. And now Ambrose able to catch Whipwreck. Ambrose, dirty deeds. The dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. The same move that beat Triple H at payback. Cover hooks the leg. And Dean Ambrose adds another championship to his list. To his, to his accolade. Dean Ambrose is the hardcore champion. Former United States and Intercontinental champion. Now. Hardcore champion and Ambrose. Look at that lunatic lariat knocking down oh, Mikey Whipwreck into it and then got him with the dirty deeds. Dean, Dean Ambrose, congratulations! Successful here live on Raw. Dean Ambrose able to defeat Mikey Whipwreck. But coming up next, live on Monday Night Raw, our main event is next. Triple H goes one on one with the with the dead man, the Undertaker. It's the game versus the dead man. It's live next on Monday Night Raw. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Monday Night Raw's main event here in Washington D.C. Here comes the former two-time WWE champion, the leader of the Authority, Triple H. The game Triple H in action. Triple H going up against The Undertaker. 
We haven't seen that before. I'm pretty sure in this universe mode. The game Triple H has a chance to become a three-time WWE Champion at, at Battleground and only 13 days away. And I hope you guys have made it up to this, made it this far in the in this video. I really hope you guys are enjoying Monday Night Raw. As uh, Friday Night SmackDown, Friday Night SmackDown episode will be uploaded this Friday. And then next Monday Night on Raw. I'm going to have some plans. Great big matches from next Monday Night Raw. But y'all got to stay tuned for that one. If you want to know what's going to happen, then you got to stay tuned. As the game, Triple H. Looking ready to go up against The Undertaker. Triple H, the game, the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin. The measuring stick of World Wrestling Entertainment. Looking to go one on one with the out with the final outlaw. The the dead man. Big evil. The Ministry of Darkness, the Lord of Darkness. The Undertaker. The Fina. The former WWE champion. As the Undertaker making his way slowly down the aisle, as only in the Undertaker can. Undertaker had a shot up against Sting up in smoke on Raw weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago that uh, Sting defeated the Undertaker live on Monday Night Raw. As the Undertaker looking ready to go up against Triple H. And oh, the Triple H wasting, looks like he wasting with little time. And Triple H with a big high knee into the, into the face of the Undertaker. Triple H taking down the Undertaker. Then the Undertaker trying to fight back. Big form to the face. Shot to the face there. No, Triple H trying to fight back as well. And a big nasty clothesline knocking down the Undertaker. This matchup does not start yet. As on the doll oh, Triple H with a big sledgehammer. Shot to the midsection there. Taking down Taker. And the Undertaker with a big drop to a hold. Bringing down the game. And now Undertaker with a sidewalk slam. Having a brawl on the outside. This matchup has not begun. I think the Undertaker. No, I think Triple H is trying to send a message to Sting. Man. That's uh, Triple H. Oh, Triple H. Hot shotting on the ticker. Triple H getting inside the ring, and he does. Now the matchup has finally begun. Does referee ring the bell? Going for a sidewalk slam. Taker with a big knee in the face. Triple H with a big cheap shot. A running high knee to the face of the Undertaker. Taking out the Undertaker. And Undertaker with a big neck breaker there. I mean, the fact that Triple H did that to the Undertaker, hit him with a sledgehammer in the midsection, is beyond me. I mean, come on. And now Taker try to fight back. You see the waltz in the face on the Undertaker. As Triple H suffering a big overhand sh shot to the back. As Taker got him up. Oh, big elbow by the game. And now the game, big double axe handle. Triple H. Taunting the Undertaker. Somehow, he's working on the head and neck of Taker. Triple H, I think he's sending a message to Sting. Trying to prove that he's not scared of Sting. Big form to the face there. And now Triple H, Spine Buster off the Irish Whip. Triple H, Spine Buster. And now Triple H. Looking to end this matchup early. 
since the match never started, but they started the fight before the match even started. Shot to the next section. Downstairs. Triple H downstairs. Pedigree. The pedigree. Triple H pedigree's taker. Cover. Hooks the leg. Shoulders are down. Got him. The game defeats the Undertaker. Monday Night Raw. Here tonight. Our main event. Triple H and Taker went from a brawl to a short match that probably lasted for a minute. Well, hook or or by crook, Triple H is the winner tonight. I hope you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw. If you guys can, hit the like button below. Also, subscribe for more. And follow me on Twitter at Boy123Gym. Yes, this is, it's me, it's me, it's that boy one two three gym and uh, I'll see you guys for Friday Night Smackdown, and, uh, next, and next week for Monday Night Raw. I'm out. Later. Run.